Well, of course, I sort of lean to the old-timers. I mean, we had great songs in our day, some of the real old chestnuts. I mean, this, um, hey, isn't it true? I mean, like, remember, Judge, a song like, Boop, boop, did him, dot him, wad him, poo. <laughs> or things we had like, uh, Mersey Dose and Dozy Dose <laughs> and Little Lambsy Divey. <laughs> Can you imagine what's going to happen 40 years from today, this nice young married newlywed couple sitting over here, can you picture them holding hands in a rocking chair? He turns to her, he said, Mother, they're playing our song. Ain't that about a hound? <laughs> now, how can you feel anything? How can you feel? Of course, in 40 years, how can you feel anything? <laughs> Yeah, we hit it over there. I could feel that. Look, look at she pointed at him. I saw that. Oh. <laughs> you kill her for that. Since we have such a mixed group here, I'm going to take a little southern song, Oh, Suzanne, and we'll do it first as it might be done in the opera. Who ordered a mixed drink in here? <laughs> we got a show off somewhere here. Isn't that the way it is? You play a rumba, nobody orders one. Susanna, Susanna. I never got a laugh there before. <laughs> Funny, some people can find a double meaning any place, can't they? <laughs> I come from Alabama with my banjo on my knee. I come from Alabama. I think Susanna was in heat over there. <laughs> just came in, the title of the song is Margie. <laughs> and now this is the Italian part. This is where Susanna meets that Italian family, the Pastos, and their arch enemies, the Antipastos. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be so juicy. <laughs> help you there. <laughs> Did you see where she was brushing off there, Susanna? It's like the fellas in these necklines get any lower and these hemlines get any higher. I don't know where it ends, but I hope I'm there when it does. <laughs> so then if you want to bust out laughing, you just feel free to go ahead. It's all right. <laughs> it's one thing about a dress like that. There's nobody going to walk up to you and say they don't know you're from Adam anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep your eye on her, she'll show you a thing or two. <laughs> it's like the fella came up to buy a brazier. She said, What size? He said, Seven and a half. She said, You're crazy. They don't come in that size. He says, I know because I measured it. She said, What'd you use? He says, My hat. <laughs> <laughs> With my banjo on my knee, I'm going to Louisiana, my true love for to see. Oh, 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 I come from Alabama with my banjo on my knee, and I'm going to Louisiana for to see with my banjo. Over there. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's it. Go ahead, our big broker over there. Remember that song? She was only a broker's daughter, but everybody got his share. <laughs> they tell a funny story about our banker over here. He handed the girl back the $50 bill. He says, I'm sorry, madam. This is counterfeit. She says, these gads have been raped. <laughs> Did you hear about the two bankers in the boat, you know, and they go out, there's only one life preserver, and the boat capsizes, and the one banker grabs the hold of the only life preserver, turns around the other one, and says, say, can you float alone? The guy says, what a heck of a time to talk business. <laughs> of course, he's not really a banker. He's what we call a financier. No, believe it, if you need money, this boy loaded. He not only owns the bank, he lives upstairs over it, believe it. <laughs> you laugh, believe it or not, his asset's over $63 million. <laughs> Most of it's frozen, but it is there. <laughs> Next, for our rebels here tonight, I'd like to show you how O oh Susanna might be sung as a little American folk song. I come from Alabama, who hit my banjo on my knee. The sun is so hot, I froze to death. Susanna, don't you cry. Susanna, baby. Why for you crying? We've been married five happy years. Five out of seventeen, that's not bad. <laughs> I know why you're crying, baby. You miss me just like I miss you. Oh, baby, I love you and I want you so badly. I want you in the worst way. The worst way. That's standing up in a hammock. <laughs> You don't believe it, just try it once. <laughs> that's not the hard way. At your age, that's the impossible way. <laughs> oh, look at the heads together. You doctors are going to get a break this weekend. Huh? He's trying to explain it to the bride over there. <laughs> I'll never forget when I first saw you. I was casually looking to this transom. <laughs> And then when I took you out to eat at that fancy restaurant, oh, you were so gorgeous, but your manners were so atrocious. I'll never forget when you scratched your back with your fork. I was so embarrassed, I dropped a whole handful of spinach. <laughs> you know, honey, when you cry, it, it reminds me of my childhood when I come rushing up to my mama. I says, Mama, all the kids are calling me a sissy. She says, I hope you fought back and showed them different. I says, I sure did. I hit him with my purse. <laughs> Remember, honey, if you're a good girl and have a nice reputation, it's better than rubies and pearls. Because ruby and pearl are going to have more fun. <laughs> Why you just crying, baby? Because because I'm 82 and you're only 23, and you figure you ain't going to get much chance to go dancing. And you ain't going to get much of that either. <laughs> Lay your head on my shoulder, till the Lord make it colder, Susanna. for the young people here. Hot dang, hot dang. <laughs> <laughs> Can't go on. Oh, my dexedrine is gone. <laughs> Did you hear the crazy one? The one about the cop pulls a beatnik over the curb. He says, what's the matter, buddy? Didn't you see the red light? He says, Daddy, I didn't even see the house. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, 
Ah, you're my kind of people. <laughs> Drunks. <laughs> Oh, here's one for the thinking people. You got to start. This is the smart set, but I like it. The one the beatnik walks up the flat-chested woman. He says, "Like man." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. We got another one. Are you in a real broad mood? <laughs> Shall we go? We've only pulled this one a couple of times. <laughs> What about the gas station? This is for you gas station boys over here. Just poured the gas in the gas. The fumes are all over the place. The two beatniks stop to use the restroom. The one beatnik's standing there. The other beatnik goes to light his cigarette with a match. Boom! The whole thing goes up. He says, my gosh! He said, the, the commode, the chair, the sink, they're all gone. And the beatnik says, never mind the chair, square. Where's that thing I had in my hand? <laughs> Two main schools of music today, as you know, one is the real cool Melaroonie style and the other is the real far out jazz, where if the audience once digs the melody, you are dead daddy. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> De bop, de beep, de mop, boodle, bottle, de beetle, bottle, de boodle, boy, boy, boy. Da, da, da. Oh, Susie, you're just an old floozy. Uh, tell me that you love me and I'll get you some boozy. You're that kind of a frail for the knocked out mail. Come on and pitch a ball. I found a house for sale. Ooh, ooh, ee, ee, hear me, Susie. Why is everybody always picking on me? We could be old to sweet and base and street. Mop, Susie, make my room. Romance complete. Bang! Oh, Susanna, won't you sit and stoop and squint and droop and sigh? Don't cry, cause I'm going to lie. How easy, Hannah, with a ear, so fly. I'm right. 